for our students. So basically we're working on balance. Yeah, that's a good thing, I think. I always need that. Okay, so to get moving, please start with a little bit of a jog around your room. You might have had a beach walk already or some other activities today, but just bear with me so we all get warmed up. A little moving of our feet. Feel free to kick your butt. Yeah. Ooh. Feel free to do a little knees up, a little marching. Good. Or a little jogging. So just one minute of kind of dancing it out. Yeah. Use your feet. Are you barefoot? Yes, you need to be for Pilates, always. Ah, yeah. Ah. Good, let all those good feelings flow in your body. Forget about anything that's not blissful because this next hour is for you, for me, for us together as a team to stay strong, to stay connected. Yes. Okay, so a few more seconds, moving your body in any way. <sighs> that's very unpolites of me actually to start the class with a little dance, but that's okay. We can be a little unpolites at times. <laughs> ah, okay. So now we've got three standing Pilates exercises all in a row. I'm gonna to come to a V shape and my feet are really connected. I'm zipping up the inner line. And I actually wanna start with just a couple of standing kegels. So I'm thinking about pelvic floor muscles. I inhale and I feel the diaphragm moving outwards and downwards, oxygen coming into my system. On the exhale, pelvic floor muscles contract. I can feel that. Diaphragm moves up, carbon dioxide moves out. So maybe two more breaths, getting the awareness, but most importantly on the exhale, it's a deep connection. Inhaling, exhaling. Good. Now the arms are going to scoop as if they're scooping up snow. And we're going to inhale in five little inhales and five little exhales. It's a percussive breath. And this is our standing hundreds. We're going to take it apart and put it together. So arms are going like this. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and then flip them over and exhale. Push, two, three, four. Five, scoop it, inhale, two, three, four, five, push it, exhale, two, three, four, five, good. Now, as you're doing the inhales and the exhales, can you feel your abdominals firing? You want to stay connected. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, Five, great job. In the um, classical standing repertoire, the arms are at our sides and we're pressing back like this and up like this. For me, that doesn't feel good in my chest. So I've allowed my arms to come up a little bit more and down a little bit more, more into a V shape. But know that you are different than me and your arms might be a little closer in or a little farther out, okay? Good, now for the foot position, we're gonna take one foot forward. And the ideal is as we push and as we pull, we're just tapping down to the ground. Okay, good job. So starting on one leg, I'm gonna start on my left because for me, that's a little bit harder. And I let my arms come out, my foot come out. And then here we go. It's inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale. Exhale, and inhale, and exhale. Good, now maybe your foot stays off the ground and you just do the arms much harder. 
Inhale. And exhale. Two, three, four, five. And inhale. Two, three, four, five. And exhale. Two, three, four, five. One more. Good. And exhale. Two, three, four, five. And bring it back to the V shape. Good little plie. And come back up. Let's try that on the other side. Remember, there's 10 sets. For me, I did half of them tapping. And then the last half, I held my leg up, which to me is way more challenging. Okay, so other side, maybe this is your stronger side. And palms face forward, arms and palms. And here we go, it's inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to keep going, but I'm going to try to keep my leg lifted. Last one. And exhale. Two, three, four, five. And bring that in. Good. Take it wide. Take it narrow. Take it wide. Take it narrow, take it wide, take it narrow, take it wide, take it narrow. This time, take it wide and stay wide. I'm going to be very wide. This is our standing saw. So, this is the Pilates standing classical exercise number two. My feet are wide, externally rotated. My arms come out and they slightly press down. I'm going to bend at the waist. Then I'm gonna reach my left hand to my right pinky toe. This is the saw. I reach and I look up at my up hand. Then I come back to level and I do the other side. I reach, I look up at my up hand. I come back to level and then I come all the way up. Woohoo! Let's try that again. I'll try uh, showing sideways, but I think you got it. Arms are out. And then lightly press down. Good. Take a breath in. Exhale. Bend at your waist. Good. Take one arm across to the opposite pinky toe. Look up at the up arm. Bring it back to center. Other side reaches and we look up at the up arm. Back to center. And we did it. Again, push down with the hands. We're going to reach across the body and look up. Coming back up to center. Good. Now, Joseph Pilates said this particular exercise is a resetting of our neck. This is for our neck. So if anyone has neck issues, this is a really good way. And notice that we're twisting and untwisting. It doesn't feel extravagant. So the important thing now is we just keep into a flow is you look up as you reach across your body. Back up to center. Good. Reach up and across your body. Good. The eye gaze is really important. I'm looking straight out, and then I'm looking up at my up hand. That's it. Straight, and then up, and straight, and up, and straight, and up, and back to center. Good job. Okay, we're going to do our little jumping set just to, to let go of everything. It's feet together, feet apart. Feet together, feet apart. Just playful. Together and apart. If jumping is not in your repertoire today, it's in, in, and out, out. Okay, nice. Now, lastly, or actually I might add a fourth exercise today. I just had a brilliant idea. Does that always come to you when you're exercising? Brilliant idea, I know. That's why we do it so much, right? Stay smart. Okay, on this one, this I totally made this up. I've never seen it taught before, but this is prone standing single leg kick. So it goes like this. The hands are behind you clasped and I'm in a parallel stance. 
Let's practice arms first. Arms are going to lengthen out and in. So for me, the classical way this is taught and the way it feels fine in my body is my backs and my hands are against my uh, shoulder blades, base my shoulder blades, and then they lengthen out. And to me, that feels great. Maybe for you, you want to hold on to a TheraBand, or maybe your arms are just reaching long behind you. Okay, so there's the arms. Now for the legs, I'm going to kick, kick, and then I'm going to lengthen as I lean forward. So let's do that, and then we stand tall. And then we go to the other side, but I'm gonna teach you the same side. <laughs> it's kick, kick, lengthen and reach the arms long. And again, good job. Kick, kick, lengthen long, stand tall. Kick, kick, lengthen long. Good, now if you can layer it in, it's flex, kick, kick, and then point as you lengthen long. Stand tall, reset. Kick, kick, point and lengthen. Stand tall, flex, kick twice. Point, lengthen as you come forward. And then one more. Perfect. Let's try that on the other side. We got eight in a row. Okay, my feet are pretty parallel. I'm going to kick, kick, lengthen long. But this side is less coordinated, I notice all of a sudden. <laughs> Ooh, this one I really need. Okay, so it's kick, kick, point and lengthen. Good job. Kick, kick, point and lengthen. We're using everything in the whole body right away from the get-go when we do our standing Pilates. Good. Good, so it's exhale, exhale. Inhale as you point and come forward and stand tall. Exhale, exhale, inhale. Couple more. Good. One more. Yes. Okay. So lastly, I want you to bring your hands behind your head. Stand with your feet kind of comfortable. We're going to do a little crisscross, but I want you to push your head into your hands. Yep, and then reach, reach across, it's a twist, and there's a little bit of flexion. I'm reaching just a little bit, the elbow to the knee, but mostly it's upright. Good job, yes, we can. Reach across and across. Now, if you can, you wanna do a lively pace, but only if you can keep your good alignment. Good, the power comes from the center of the body. You're really feeling that it's, Exhale, exhale, like you're a giant sea star or anemone and the muscles and power comes from right here. <sighs> Good job. Finally, hands stay behind head if you can. And it's side and side and side and side. Feet can be wherever you like them on this one. And you want to feel here that you're in one plane. Elbow toward the floor, elbow toward the floor. You're not leaning forward, your eye gaze is straight up. And it's side, 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 side. Good job for 10 more, nine more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and release. Woo, good. We're gonna do our roll downs on the mat. So let's come on down to transition to the mat. That was good. I got a little sweaty everywhere from uh, doing like focused, focused standing work. I like it. Okay, so we're down on the mat and we wanna move right into our rollbacks. So today I've got the TheraBand and I'm placing it beneath my feet. But you know what, it's getting warm. I'm gonna take off my socks. Yes, I am. Maybe you need to shed a layer already. Good, hopefully you have a couple layers on to shed. 
but you're at home, so if you end up in your bra and panties or just your long johns, it's okay. We sit up tall, and we exhale, and we round our spine down. Yeah, so this is the bent knee roll down, but because I'm choosing the TheraBand, just my heels are touching the ground, but I feel that my heels are seriously pressing down. So I fire the back of my legs. Good, and I'm gonna do about five more. Easy, inhale, lift up as tall as I can. Exhale, I start with the base of my spine as I roll the spine down. I release through the neck and the head. Inhale, lift up to look at the knees. Exhale, roll from the top of the spine to the base. Inhale, sitting up as tall as I can. Exhale, from the base, the tailbone starts that movement as I roll down. Good, two more making these feel really helpful today. Super helpful on this beautiful day in October. Good. One more. Inhale. Look at your knees. Exhale. Coming all the way up. Perfect. From here, we move straight into the X roll up. And with the X roll up, our legs are as wide as our mat. And we come all the way down, and the arms are as wide as the mat. I want you just to take a moment here. I personally started out with the kegel. I did a couple of them as we were standing, and then I moved into the whole body exercises. So I truly feel that all of my power is coming through my center. But you might take a minute just to like lift your leg with your core, lift your leg with your core, lift your arms with your shoulder blades. So you're just like, okay, all of my power is centered. Like I have a giant sunshine radi radi radiating out from my navel. So finding that very important. For me, I'm gonna start with my right hand, and this is kind of like the saw, right? It's a big diagonal. I'm gonna reach up. Now, as I lift up, first my arm is pushing me, and then my elbow on the floor is pushing me. I'm twisting as I roll up and I'm helping myself. Good, I come to a seated position, there's the saw, and I swivel, and then I slide all the way down, back to center, opposite way, reach. Good, push with your elbow or hand, reach across as you swivel, and then slowly down, yay! Again, reach up, push, push, use your body, yeah! Then across and down. For me, these feel so good. I could do them like for an hour, that's how yummy they feel. It's not a lot of work, but it is work, but it gets me stretched in such a good way. So ideally, I think that's how you should feel, or could feel. Arms reaching, this arm's pushing against the ground. Swiveling. And all the way down, good, one more. Reach up and across, push with your other hand. Touch the pinky toe. Swivel around, and we come all the way down. Yeah, that was lovely. Okay, continuing on with the diagonal of the body, I want you to find your ball. Ball's going to go between the inner thighs here. Yep. And just wiggle around for a second until you feel comfortable and things are aligned properly. And then give the ball a nice little firm sweep. As you've noticed, we've kind of started out with a lot of diagonal work. We're going to continue that today, thinking about the interior and exterior obliques, okay, the big X of our body. My hands are coming behind my head so that I'm truly strengthening, lengthening, and supporting through the back of my neck. I'm going to practice just lifting up above shoulder blades because I haven't done any chest lifts this morning, and I need to lift up just a little bit higher and then I come back down. Good, I'm gonna do that two more times. So it's lift up as high as I can on my own, and then squeeze the ball and lift a little tiny bit higher. 
Can you feel here above your shoulder blades? That is perfection. Can you have a little space underneath your chin for a small apple? Yes. And then roll down. Good. Once more, we lift up as high as we can, and then we do it a little bit extra. Woohoo! Good. Memorize that place. That's where we want to try to come to each time. And all the way down. Good. Now, here comes the twist. We start with the right elbow. We reach up and across the body. And then we come to center. Is that exactly where you were on that second lift a second ago? Your above shoulder blade? Good. Then come down. Now reach up and across. Whoosh. Come to center. Are you above your shoulder blades? Yes, you are. Then you can come all the way down. Reach up and across. Good work. Take that to center. All the way down. Good. Now, as I'm doing these, these are really basic oblique exercise. This actually comes from gyrotonic, not from Pilates, but I think Joseph Pilates would love this exercise. <clears throat> but I do want you to feel as we're doing them. The lift really helps you get up there, and then we come to center so we can feel it and we come down. I'm stabilizing. My pelvis is in a neutral position. I'm not using my tailbone. I'm not using my glutes here. I'm really using those obliques to get up, abdominals to come to center, and then all the way down. So maybe a sensation here, and I'm squeezing my ball the whole time, like 50%, something like that. So I'm using those stabilization muscles, meaning my inner thighs and pelvic floor. I'm going to keep going to reach up and across, center that all the way down, reach up and across, center that, and down, one more each way, reach up and across, and center, and down, reach up and across, and center that, and down. Ah, that felt so good. For any reason, for me, that is so healing and loving on my neck, but if for any reason you tightened up, just shake your head a little bit to say no. No, no, no. See if maybe you were holding on to something in one of the upper facets of your of your spine, like the atlas or axis, the axis or atlas way up at the top. Like, is that a thing for you today? So always good to pay attention. Then we're going to take the same exercise oh, again, but we're going to have the legs in tabletop. So I want you to lift those legs up. Imagine that your legs are balanced on a beautiful ottoman, and then you're squeezing your ball. So you're kind of relaxing your legs, but guess what? The pelvis wants to tilt. The spine wants to tilt. So pelvic floor muscles have to be engaged. I'm squeezing the ball maybe 60% here to help keep that pelvis stable. Yes. Then my hands come behind my head. <laughs> I'm going to start with my left elbow. I'm going to reach up and across. Come to center and down. Good. Reach up and across. Center and down. I'm very stable from the navel down. Really, nothing is moving, but everything is active. So the stabilization, deeper muscles are firing as I'm really moving here with the upper body. To me, these feel wonderful. They're slow, and I definitely have to focus. That is definitely a theme for today. Focus. And reach across. Come to center and down. Reach up and across. Come to center and down. Reach up and across. Center and down. Reach up and across. Center. Come all the way down. Good. Bring those legs into your body. Give yourself just a little rock and roll. And then you want to do a stir with both knees. So keeping the ball between your knees or inner thighs. Circle. And we're giving our back, our very low back muscles and bones, a little rolling around, a little massage. So maybe four or five times. And then we roll the other way. Good job. Woohoo! 
Okay. Now we do our final little oblique exercise here. We're going to do the full crisscross that uh, Joseph Pilates wanted us to do. We sure worked our way into it today. So I'm just taking a moment to lengthen my spine. Arms are just kind of starting down just so I can also feel the width through the shoulders. I'm going to bring one leg up and the other leg up, and I'm just taking my time so that every little thing is precise. Every muscle is firing properly. I can feel now that my legs are up, but without the ball, that I might need to tilt my pelvis a little bit. I might need to have a little bit more deep core. Then hands come behind the head. Good. And as I lift up, I'm going to extend one leg. So here we go. I'm going to start with my right elbow, reach across, and I reach toward the incoming knee. Good. Back to center, and I stay lifted if possible. And then to the other side. Good. And at first, it's super slow motion. I want you to feel every nuance of the exercise and stay above your shoulder blades the whole time. Reach, center, and reach across and center. Boy, that extending of the opposite leg really helps me lift and twist. Reach across. So now I'm going to do it a little faster. I reach and reach and reach and reach good today. I'm going to see if I can do 20. Woohoo! 19. 18. 17. Good. And 16. Maybe I should bring up the pace. 15. If I'm going to have you do that better, you better get it over with. <laughs> 13. And 12. 12. And 11. Check it out. 10. Oh my gosh, we're halfway there. Fine. Eight, seven, six, five. Can you keep your form for four more? And three more, and two more, and one more, and down we go. Melt all the way down. Take a little moment for yourself. Ah. That feels so good to work those obliques like that, doesn't it? Yeah, okay, maybe another layer of your clothing needs to come off now. And we're going to grab the ball and place it underneath the sacrum. Woohoo! Okay, so ball's underneath my sacrum. I feel cozy and comfortable. Ah. Good. I've really fired everything in my body, so I just kind of notice as I bring my legs up. Ta-ta, ta-ta. Yes, my tailbone kind of curls around the ball. Yes, my ribs come together and down, but that's all happening naturally. It feels great. Okay, I'm going to practice the single leg stretch first. So I reach one leg in and one leg out. And I keep it at a moderate level. My legs are not as low to the ground as they could possibly be. And they're not as high up as they could possibly be. It's perfect for me. Find a moderate level. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. Good. And this one is precision of your foot reaching. One foot reaches, one knee pulls. Hips are even. Core is in control. And because we did so much oblique work, I really feel those obliques keeping me steady on the ball. Ta-ta. Ta-ta, keep going. Keep going. Reach and reach and reach and reach. Keep going. Reach and reach and reach and reach. Good. Both legs come in and extend up to the sky. Flex and point and flex and point and flex and point your feet. Good. Now scissoring and it's one, two, three and change. One. Two, three, and change. Ta, 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 and change. And change. One, two, three, and change. One, two, three, and change for two. And two. Two. One, two, change. One, two, change. One, two, change. One, two, change for singles for eight. Seven, six, five, 
five, four, three, two, left, one. Bring your feet in. Good. Okay. I want us to do just a quick bridge series today. So you're gonna lift up off the ball and come all the way down. Good. Place your ball between your inner thighs. Walk your feet a little bit together so that if you can imagine a line being drawn from the center of your heel, it would hit your sitting bone. Feeling that type of alignment today. Tailbone is down. Hips are level. You really feel this deep connection in your rib cage, like you're knit together. Take a breath in, and then on the exhale, lift your hip up. Good. Then smoothly wave action as you lower your spine down. We're going to do that for eight. So lift, wave action down. Good work. Exhale up. Inhale, wave. Exhale, up. Inhale, wave action. That's it, again. Lifting up, wave action down. Again, lifting up, wave action down. Okay, now on the last one, I want you to stay in your bridge and just stay lifted. We're gonna do small pulsation. Make sure that your feet are parallel. I think mine got a little askew during the lifts for some reason. So hopefully yours are. And it's squeeze and release, squeeze and release. It's a small little movement. It's a small squeeze. It's not a hundred percent. Maybe it's 80%. Can you feel your glutes activate and your hamstrings activate? Good, so squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. It's a pulsation of life through your body is what you want. That's why it's not 100% squeezing. You still want energy coming through every pore of your body. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Ta-ta. 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 Keep going. Squeeze. 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 Squeeze and release. Good work. Ta-ta. 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 Keep going. Squeeze. 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 Squeeze good and hold. Good. Now we're in this bridge together. For me, there's nothing screaming at me. I feel my shoulder blades relaxed, upper body's relaxed. My arms are lightly engaged. My hips might be able to lift up a tiny bit more. Oh yeah, they did need to, to do to have a little tiny bit of an extra lift. And then maybe my shins need to activate a little bit, so they're reaching out. Maybe. I think for me, I tend to droop a little bit. I think most of us do. So we found it again, and we do our eight uh, rolling bridges. So here we go. We inhale as we roll down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, roll. Exhale, lift. Inhale, roll down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, roll down. Exhale, lift. Good work. Roll it down. Lift it up. Roll it down. Lift it up. One more. Rolling and lifting. Excellent. So my feet, <laughs> they went askew. So now they're in perfect parallel position. And my hips are lifted up as high as they can be while I'm resting. Yes. Now on this set, we're going to do the squeeze and releases, but my arms are going to be up to the sky. Notice that all of my joints are lined up properly, so there's not a lot of work to hold up my arms. I can kind of relax my shoulders a little bit, and then I'm going to squeeze the ball and release the ball. These are slower and a little more forceful, but still not 100%. I say, though, this is like 90. And to keep out of my back, of course, I'm using all the muscles in my back, but to keep from sagging into my lumbar spine, I'm lengthening up and away. So it might be a little bit of a lift and a little bit of a lower, or it might be for you just reaching of your knees away. There's no collapsing here. And we do 10 more, nine, eight, seven, 
six squeezes, five, four, three, two, last one. Good job. Now, could you lift your heel? Could you lower your heel? Can you lift your heel? Can you lower your heel? Can you lift and lower? Lift and lower. Lift your heels, lower your heels. Good. Now, as you're lifting your heels and lowering your heels, can you feel the muscles around the very, very top of your thigh and the back of your thigh, like all the muscles that attach to your pelvis, working like crazy here, rather than just your glutes? That would be great. So we lift and lower. Heels lift, heels lower. Heels lift. Heels lower. I'm trying to relax with my shoulders. Lift and lower. I have three more. Three. Lift and lower. It's like high heels on, flat feet. High heels on, flat feet. Good. Now take a breath in. Exhale, roll down slowly, slowly, slowly. Each bone comes down as best you can. And we release. Ah. Taking it into your own supine twist, you just feel like you're awakening in the morning. Oh, this is great. To the other side. Oh, this is great. I'm waking up. I'm a woke woman. <laughs> I told you that I'm getting certified by the Sierra Club to be a hiking leader and how to leader. And it's really fun. There's a lot of work to be done. Um, maybe halfway through the whole process, but I've been um, I've been engaged with the uh, very top leadership at the at the uh, national level for the Sierra Club, and the Sierra Club is going through like a rebirthing right now because it had become like a white male dominated organization, and they wanted huge change. So they've got huge change, but now there's all these reverberations. It's really interesting. So I've just been like listening to these national Zoom meetings and attending them and doing the whole process of you know being a leader for the Sierra Club, which is a cool organization. And I'm glad they're getting more woke, but man, is it painful. And I bet so many organizations are doing the same thing right now, but it's interesting to be involved in one. Okay, so that felt really good. I want you to bring your legs in. Good, and then go ahead and sit all the way up. We're going to uh, do our a little tiny variation on our basic hip strengthening today, but come down onto your side, have your ball. Yeah, you're gonna place the ball behind your knee. Good. Ah, yeah. And uh, I want you to start out here with the ball behind your knee, you know the, the drill is an L shape. You've got your belly pulled in and you're gonna start with small little lifts. But now as you're starting these, I'm gonna go close my door because somebody is using a buzz saw in the back. Why do people have so many power tools? Love your neighbor, love your neighbor, but our neighbors have some crazy power tools. It's not necessary. We have a room and a rake. Done 100, right? <laughs> lift and lift and lift. Keep going. Lift and lift and lift and lift. Keep going. Lift and lift and lift and lift. Keep going. Lift and lift and lift and lift. Couple more. Good. We're going to spend a good little amount of our class time today on our hip strengthening. This basic little set, as you know, is works wonders. So we're going to stick with it because it works. Belly is pulling in. My obliques are fired. The power is coming from my center because we started out that way, so I'm still really aware of it. I have textbooks or uh, I don't know, whatever you have, um, oranges, cans of food sitting up here. So you're lifting, and it's heavy, and it's heavy, 
and it's heavy. Good job. Now we go bigger and it's slower. I could lift my knee. I can lift my knee almost up to the ceiling. But for some of you, maybe not so much. It doesn't matter where your knee goes. What it matters is where your pelvis is. Your pelvis has to be stacked. So just having your leg open to any place that you can while your pelvis stays stacked. That's it. Good job. Yeah. We're lifting. We're lowering. We're lifting. And we're lowering. Good job. Lift and lower. Lift. And Lord, such a beautiful day today. Yesterday, I got to have a day off. Woohoo! Um, so I rode my bike in the Redwood Forest for about an hour and a half in the morning. And then in the afternoon, I got to do a long beach walk. The beach is so beautiful. The ocean is so beautiful. The Redwood Forest is so beautiful. Oh, so lucky to be alive and to see this and to live here. So now I'm doing my circles, and today I'm going to keep them a little bit contained. They're not as big as I can make them, but I think they're about the size of the ball. And I'm drawing the circle with my knee, and I can feel, oh yeah, what I'm really doing is I'm moving my femur head around. And I've got about three more in this direction, two more in this direction, one more, and we reverse. Reverse. Good job. Circle, but it's very uh, moderate. It's a moderate circle, but I'm definitely feeling the femur head moving around. Can you feel that leg bone in the acetabulum moving? Yes, all of the muscles are working, and the bone is getting movement. Is our leg circle sideways? What? Yeah, they are. <laughs> okay, we did it. That was kind of a lot. <laughs> In the end, so beat out your, the side of your leg or your butt if you need to. And we're going to take a nice, beautiful stretch. <clears throat> leg goes up, across the body, pull in, yes, and whatever it takes here for you to feel it, I want you just to breathe into any places that might feel uh, like they're getting some kind of a stretch. Yeah. Take a couple of aware breaths. Inhaling, your belly poops out. Your lungs fill front, side, back. Exhale, pelvic floor contracts. And the diaphragm moves upward. Carbon dioxide moves out. So aware breaths, really thinking about all those phases of the breath process. Perfect. Good. Now let's kick our legs up and turn around and let's do the other side. Excellent. Oh, now the ball goes behind the knee. We've got our L shape here. And we start with little, lit, little, lit. Good job. Little, lit. Woohoo! Ah, good. You're breathing and feeling and enjoying your sense of self. Ah. Good work. Keep going. Lift, 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 lift. Good. We still have a bunch more of these little lifts. Where do you end up feeling this exercise? All along the outside of your body? Or is it more specific to the gluteus uh, medius? I kind of feel it all on the side of my body. Yeah. Okay, now in just a second, we're going to go a little teeny bit longer so we'll be even. We're going to take it a little bigger. So here we go, knee up. Good. And then just check on your pelvic situation. Your pelvis is completely stationary, it's level and stacked as we lift and lower. 
lower. Knee up and knee down. Woohoo! That's it. So what else is happening in your lives? Exciting new thing coming into being? Woohoo! I've been busy this last month traveling in California to visit <laughs> children and grandchildren and joining that uh, paddling uh, group, the outrigger canoe class. Oh man, that's been so much fun. And oh yeah, Deb and I got to do that um, lady road trip to San Francisco. Oh, I looked up the, um, the flutist's name. So when we got the symphony tickets, uh, we went to see uh, a symphony that was playing exotic birds, which was really a wonderful symphony. So cool. And Debussy was featured. But the one that really struck us, so now we go into circles, the one that really struck us was uh, a piece by a female composer, and the flautist did the solo, and it was maybe 15, 20 minutes of this woman playing the flute mostly, and it was unbelievable. Well, the flutist's name is Claire Chase, and I looked her up online finally, and listened to some of her YouTube videos. She's a professor at Harvard, and she's traveled all over the world, and she's hailed as like the most formidable fearless flutist in the world. <laughs> so if you get a chance and you're interested in listening to an amazing flute player, look up Claire Chase on YouTube and you can watch it for four minutes or something. She's amazing. Now I've reversed. Claire Chase. Wow, would I like to know her? Just to have seen her live, I'm so blessed. Isn't that cool? Don't you love live music? I do too. I love live music. Here in Santa Cruz, we have a really cool jazz club called the Puma, and we have jazz greats that have been coming here for as long as I've been living here, for decades. And it's really a cool place. It's like a little supper club, and you get to sit 10 feet from this famous, amazing jazz musician. I love it. Okay, so we're circling just a few more. One more and two more. We did it. That was not too bad, was it? No, oh, it wasn't too bad. So beat out your legs and your butt if you need it. Do not want to create tension. Good. Beat out your uh, calves, Amy. You always need that. <laughs> and then let's come back to our backs. Take the leg you just worked and cross it over, and whatever place it is for you that you come to, or you can feel it, we want to take a few aware breaths, or we can call them woke breaths, if that doesn't, if that doesn't anger you. For some people, the word woke is kind of the word, uh, you know, it's just a, like a prickly word. For me, I don't mind it, it doesn't bother me, but I'm okay with words. <laughs> I love words. Do you have any words that you just don't want anyone to say? Maybe, I don't know. I can't think of any. <laughs> we'll go through a list of that later. <laughs> I'm not crazy about swearing, but I do love swear words in the right time and place. Not in the Pilates class, but other times they're wonderful. So I'm not against them. Oh, this feels like something on this side. Ah. <laughs> Ooh. Are you feeling it too? I do. I feel it right. So the other side, it was great. Loved it. This side, I feel it right in the center of my butt cheek. Ah. Yep. This is all, we do this almost every class, don't we? The number four stretch. I told you the funny story, didn't I? So this, if you raise your leg and you look up, is a number four. It's like a perfect number four, right? Well, that's why I called the number four stretch. But it took me over a year to understand why it was called the number four stretch. I thought it was the stretch between three and five. And then one day I was teaching it and I looked up and I go, oh, that's why it's called number four. So I thought that was pretty funny. It took me a long time to get that. <laughs> Do you have things in your life that 
took you a long time to get. Yes. Sometimes I, I think about my kids and I think, okay, in 10 years, they're going to understand that. <laughs> All righty, shake out your leg. Good. We're going to do a little bit of back work. So we're going to flip on up and over. Yeah. I want us to do just a set of swimming and then we're going to move into our, uh, our rolling uh, cats. So get your hair in gear whatever that means for you. And you can have your arms over the head if you want to do the advanced version. I never teach the advanced version, but I'm gonna teach it today. <clears throat> my, uh, my arms and legs are really prepared for this maneuver because you can see that it's exactly the opposite of the X roll up. But for beginners or for anyone that has shoulder issues, the arms are always down at the side, palms up, and it's so much kinder on the body. Okay, so here we go. Arms up or down. Move from your center. Reach your fingers away from your toes, and then start to lift up slowly. And when you get up to wherever you're going to lift up to, thinking about your belly pulling in. Just find that position and then lower down. Good. Now we're going to do a little bit of uh, an opposite arm and leg. So I'm going to lift my right leg and my left arm. I'm going to scoop and lift up. I press down with my right hand and my left foot, and I come back down. Good. And you can do a modification of this if your hands are at your side. Opposite arm and leg, reach and lower. So I'm really stretching, finding that X in my body, which should be easy. And I lift and I lower. And this time I'm gonna reach, lift, stay lifted, reach, lift, stay lifted. Good, so I'm all the way lifted like I'm flying. All of the muscles in the back of my body are fired. My head's looking forward and down and I start a little tiny swim, tiny. Good. Inhale, exhale, come all the way down. Woo, I think I needed that one today. Good. Now for a tiny little bit of a back bend, a little bit of a lift, I'm going to bring my hands to sphinx position. So I'm up on my forearms, and I'm going to pull myself just a little bit forward and slide my hands in. Good. So I'm lifted up much higher than I could, but I really have my glutes and my belly muscles fired. And then I come down. I'm gonna do that one more time. It's a beautiful back extension. My head's at center. I lift up onto my forearms. I fire my belly muscles super strong. And then I pull my elbows back. I lift up as high as I can, but I have so much strength in my core to support me. Maybe my arms slide back and I stay lifted. Big breath in, exhale down. Good work. Take yourself back to your cat stretch to finish our class. We come all the way through. Good. Arms forward, butt to your heels. And then inhale, low to the ground. Exhale, up and around. Option to tuck your toes under or not. Good. making some beautiful circling movements with your spine while you breathe. Inhaling and exhaling. Beautiful. So let's come to a seated position. Ah, good. And just take a moment to acknowledge our work together for the whole last hour. Ah, I'm just feeling centered, working out any kinks, taking a minute here just to acknowledge yourself. Like, good job, like amazing, doing something so healthy for ourselves. You know, giving yourself a pat on the back. <laughs> ah, yes, good. Well, my 
energy was pretty high up when I started true, but I do feel better. I feel better. And I hope you do too. Yeah. Yay. Bye, Ruth. So glad to have you. Bye, Mary Jane. Aww.